Hey guys, it's Kristen Woo! and Bethany, and obviously we have some extras. We have Zach and we have Dave <laughs> so on the vlog excited. today, and we are so excited. And today's vlog is called Practical Advice for dating and marriage. So most of y'all know that Zach and I have been married for almost seven years, and you also know that Dave and Bethany are in a relationship. So in this vlog, we thought it would be so fun for Zach and I just to share some practical advice on what we do to maintain a strong marriage, and then kind of on what they're doing throughout the relationship process. So whether you're married or single, we hope that you can take something away from this. So I'm super excited to have Dave on here today to talk about our relationship because we're literally in the midst of a relationship and we're getting to know each other. And a lot of you want to know like what in the world do you do to actually get to know someone? And so today we're going to share with you exactly like what we're doing, the practical things on how we're getting to know each other. So here's our scary bag. So, okay, it ripped the other day, but it basically inside here we got a bunch of stuff that, you know, books we're going through and uh, a little legal pad to figure out how to not do that again. And so basically, uh, and then our questions. We got our questions. So do y'all carry to, this yeah. with you? We, yeah, it's in my car basically, yeah. It might be time for a new bag. Might, I mean, there's some sentimental value there, but. I need to, yeah, it's from Christmas as you can see. So Very can, nice. Yeah, okay, so there's. Into. There's a lot of stuff that we're doing, but we want to focus on a few specific things today. Right. So we have actually three specific things that we're doing. And these are things like they're not like the, yeah. oh, if you do these, you're going to have the perfect relationship or anything like that. They're just ways for us to get to yeah. know each other on a deeper level. The first of those things is we have a list of 130 questions, which we basically <laughs> have. 130. Just a few sheet stables. <laughs> <laughs> what you didn't do this? <laughs> That's a lot of questions. That's good. a lot That's of good. Questions. Anyway, and and so we're crossing them out right now, and uh, basically just go through one at a time. And they're conversation starters. That's basically yeah, what they yeah. are. So we're just going through and and. Uh, what are your spiritual strengths? Like that, that's yeah. one of the questions. It's just things like that. And they'll start really deep and meaningful conversations that they, that we wouldn't otherwise necessarily yeah. be having or think of having. Yeah. Cause it's hard when you're trying to get to know someone, it can be hard to know like what to talk about or what questions to ask. And so this list of questions, I've really enjoyed it because it has like categories, like your spiritual life your relationships, personal habits affecting marriage. And then we'll just literally pull it out and then go through, maybe answer like five at a time or 10 at a time or whatever, just go through a category and start answering them. And there are things that we wouldn't think of. So just assume, instead of assuming that we know each other, we're using this as a guide just to help us get to know each other being on intentional. a deeper level. Yeah. yeah, being intentional. And so this, we're actually going to link to this list, exact list of questions below so that you can actually access it yourself. So if you're like, where are the list awesome. of questions? Nice. We're yeah. going to give you the exact list that we're currently working through. So you can click that below because I'm really excited about that. The next thing we've been doing is uh, regular times of scripture reading and prayer together. And this is really, really helpful for yeah. us because it's really those times that we get to really kind of center our focus and why we're doing this? Yeah. Why Why are we in a relationship doing all these intentional things? And where are we going? Like mm. spiritually, where are we going? Yeah. Oh, we're seeking God. Well, what does that look like? Well, let's read scripture. Like let's yeah. actually seek God. And let's mm. actually talk about it and pray about it and the in, and share insights with one another of what mm. we're learning. Yeah. And it really takes the focus off of just like us being so consumed with our relationship and kind of gets our eyes back on God and back on scripture mm. and really helping us to see like, wow, like instead of having like a death grip on this, like this must work out and we must get married. It's like, okay, God, you have a plan and we're going to turn to your word mm -hmm. and be reminded of that. And then also it helps us to know like reading, like we read through the book of Ruth together, which is kind of random, yeah. but we just read through it all at one time. And it was like, Oh, what do you think about this? What insights do you have? What insights do I have? And it's just another way, even within that for us to get to know each other. And I really appreciate it because Dave leads that he leads our time of prayer and scripture reading. And so it's just a go, good Dave. way. <laughs> go. Thanks, it's a good way. Like for me to see like, wow, his spiritual leadership, because if we were to get married as the husband, he would be the spiritual leader. And so this is just a good way for us to kind of see how that works with us and kind of practice mm. and just for me as a girl to see, does he have any spiritual leadership? And he does. The last thing we're doing is going through uh, books together. And so the next book we'll be going through together is a book called What Did You Expect? By Paul David Church. Good one. Link to it. Yeah. We're super excited about Yeah. That. These are awesome. It's the same thing. It's like scripture questions. They all really just help facilitate mm. conversations and, yeah. and places to go in how to communicate. Yeah, because it just helps us to dig into topics that, like, just like with scripture reading that we might not have thought of. And so reading through books together is personally one of my favorite things to do because we actually read through it together. Like, we're sitting there mm. and we're reading through the chapters, kind of talking about things. And then it brings up topics <laughs> where it's like, oh, you thought that? I didn't know you thought that. Or I think this. So it's just a great way. <laughs> And there isn't like a perfect book to read through, but what did you expect is a really great one that we're excited about. So to wrap it all up, the things that we're doing, we're going through the list of questions. 
we're reading scripture together and praying together. <laughs> and then we're going through books together. And those have been super helpful ways, probably the top three things that we would recommend from our experience to work through as a couple with a guy you're getting to know, just ways to be intentional in your relationship. It's so funny hearing y'all share because we did a lot of that same stuff, like the questions, totally. the books, yeah. the stuff that I remember reading. That. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's really cool to see what y'all are going through. And then to take what we learned during that stage and now being married for almost seven years. It's just so cool to see. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Almost seven years. This student will be seven. But it's interesting. Once you get married, you really have to be just as intentional. So mm. you want to be intentional in the relationship process. Yeah. And then once you're married, you want to be so intentional to continue building the relationship yeah. so that it gets deeper and stronger. And what do we call our love? Deep embers love. Yeah. <laughs> Always don't get them like before you're married, it's like, yeah. oh, maybe infatuation and you're growing on that deeper love. And then... You Never have ends. this deep embers love. So <laughs> the love are, just matures. Yeah. Yeah. Deep, yeah. Love love matures. Mature love. Yeah. But there are some things that Zach and I have been striving to do over the past seven years to build yeah. a strong marriage. Mm. So many people advised us on the fact that strong marriages don't just happen. Mm. Like people yeah. get married, but then they can have a really hard, shallow marriage that where yeah. the relationship isn't intimate and strong. And so our passion in our marriage is to try to build a strong marriage. So we want to share with you just a few of the things that we're striving to do, yeah. not perfectly, but striving to do on a weekly daily basis to build a strong marriage. It's got to be said that this has come and gone. Like we've learned and grown yeah. in different ways and it, it'll be different next year and we'll be doing new yeah. things and better things. So it's just something to help all of us think through what an intentional totally. marriage yeah. looks like. So totally. first first would be that we want to have short accounts. We want to keep short accounts. We don't want to we don't want to hold something against one another mm. for very long at all. And if we can <laughs> before bed. The Bible says in Ephesians 4:26 it says, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. And then further on in verse 32, it says, be kind to one another, tender hearted, mm. forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. So, so we actually sin against each other? That happens. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> uh, no! so, so A lot of the time. Full Full, full disclosure. disclosure here. We discussed this yesterday. We had something. Oh, I was no. just like, oh man, can we talk about this? Yeah. yeah. So just the short account. Yeah. like we cannot let the sun go down on our anger. That's the good. more and more that we do that, the deeper our love yeah. is. The tr more trusting it yeah. is. And uh, we're just just learn that that is something that has mm. to wow. be in place in the yeah. marriage. Yeah. And even if you're waiting until yeah. the last minute, like that verse is so encouraging before the sun goes down. So sometimes yeah. there will be an issue where someone does something and the other person gets mad but doesn't say anything. Yeah. And then there's always that time right before bed where it's a great opportunity. Is there anything mm. that hasn't been resolved? Any issues that you need to talk about? And then making sure to do that yeah. before your head hits the mm. pillow and you go to sleep. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's one thing sure. that I'm that's grateful. Great. You lead us really well in that. And oh, you're always gosh. usually the first one to come and say, Aww. let's talk. <laughs> and I struggle. I'm, I'm growing in that. Um, but something else that we do is we really try to have weekly dates. So before you're married, it can be easy to have dates and like, woohoo. And then you get married and things just get busy. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing mm -hmm. how you cannot prioritize yeah. the relationship once you're married like you did when fast. you're dating. And so you, we want to be so intentional. And if you're married, we encourage you mm -hmm. in this to have weekly dates. So for us, we've just kind of set aside Friday nights. Like that's our date night. We always have dates on Friday nights unless something comes up. Like They're serious about thing. it. <laughs> but like it's we prioritize yeah, that. Yeah, so they do. Yeah, when people say, hey, can you hang out Friday night? Or we're having this thing Friday night, unless it's something that we can't miss, like a family birthday party or something, then we'll say, yeah. hey, we can't make it. Maybe Saturday yeah. night. So we really try to keep that date, that night just set aside for us yeah, to invest I'm in each other invest in our marriage and just to continue to keep the relationship strong. Yeah. And we're growing in it too. Cause a lot of times it just ends up being the same thing. So like to get more creative, <laughs> creative with it and, yeah. and, and just keep that, keep the flames burning. <laughs> yes. As they say, we keep wanna, those embers. Keep really. those yes. embers. Like it's, it's something you have to be intentional yeah. with. So then lastly would be a, just a vibrant prayer life, which we've grown a lot in the last year or two. And then our wow. church has been really focused on that lately as well. So yeah. just growing in the intentionality behind prayer and not just kind of, you know, we're praying together every day. Um, it's, there's, there's never been a day that I can remember that we mm -hmm. haven't prayed together, That's uh, good. but something that would be in, more intentional mm -hmm. and what we want to have happen is like we go into the bedroom, we're on our knees, intentional with mm -hmm. a list of items that we want to make yeah. sure we cover together. Right. Um, you know, she'll pray, I'll pray back and forth for people that we know and care mm -hmm. about and are going through hard times for our marriage, yeah. uh, for things on our oh. hearts, where we'd like to grow. Mm -hmm. Um, that's really something that we've been yeah. taking more to heart lately and, and 
really focusing on. Yeah, and it just keeps our hearts and our perspective focused on the Lord and Mm -hmm. saying, we can't do this. We Mm -hmm. need the Lord in our marriage. We need to intercede on on behalf of other people that we know, other marriages, other relationships. And so it just always keeps us as a couple centered Mm -hmm. on Christ and constantly acknowledging him. We need you, Christ. So those are just a few of the yeah. things that we do wow. that we're striving to do to <laughs> build a strong it's marriage. Done. So okay. whether you're single or married. <laughs> goals. <laughs> goals, marriage, goals. Hashtag yeah. goals, couple <laughs> goals. So we know there are a lot of you married girls who watch our YouTube channel in addition to a lot of single girls. And so we just hope for those of you who are in a marriage yeah. that just hearing kind of the insights on what we do to build a strong marriage is just an encouragement to you to stay after it, to yeah. be intentional, to pursue Christ in your own marriage. Thanks so much for watching today's video with our super extra special guest. If you Ooh. liked it, you can Subscribe to our channel below because we post new videos every Wednesday. Why do I feel so short? <laughs> okay. Hold on. Give <laughs> <laughs> me a little booster seat. <laughs> Can we go now? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Oh, abrupt. Oh. I was trying to keep it like, short. Okay. I was like, oh, I'll just, just look at them. Right, oh, wait, so. what was happening while I was talking? There was a huge commotion over here. Oh, no, it was actually happening. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh we're doing this. She's doing this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, cut that? Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, okay. we have um, re- regular. Oh, I'll start that over. <laughs> All right, yeah. that's good. All right. <laughs> Next up, um, we've been starting a. <laughs> one, more, one more chance. All right, third I'll chance with this time. No worries. That's perfect. Well, um, Jesus. <laughs> Be going through. <laughs> okay. Just give it's me a second. second. Way to be married 17 years. 17, yeah. I wish. Yeah. Or you could just use my transition. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like, what happened to my life? Did I say a lot of married women? A lot of single women. Oh my words. goodness. Like, put this in brackets in marriage. Yeah. I'm sorry. I let me, re- let me redo that. Subscribe <laughs> through Patreon. <laughs> There's ways to donate to this ministry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> All right, hey, one other thing. Subscribe below. No, it's not, it. it's not a subscription. Make that something special and send them a <laughs> Valentine. <laughs> I don't know. How do I close that up? All right, one other thing. Hey, Patreon.com. These girls are crushing it online, okay? If you love what they're doing, go to Patreon.com. You can donate a dollar to a video. They would so appreciate it. I would so appreciate it, all right? Go to Patreon.com. Sign up. Thanks a lot.